Hi there, I'm Bruce Anderson and I'm with the Castle Air Museum and I am not Agent Jay-Z. Agent Jay-Z is a gentleman on YouTube that has posted a boatload of videos on gas turbine engines, how to rebuild them, safety wire them, his great question series, his great close-up series, wonderful gentleman. At any rate, Agent Jay-Z is the person you really want to listen to. I'm just a, a wannabe and I want to say thank you to him. And part of the way in saying thank you is hopefully payback and I want to say that imitation is one of the hopefully best forms of flattery. About two weeks ago uh, we got a new jet engine in. Is it a Pratt Whitney J-58? You know, this is the sort of aircraft that was used on the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird. It would propel it up to Mach 3 Plus, which kids can't relate to, or 2,100 miles an hour that kids can't relate to, or 10 football fields per second. When I ask a kid if they've ever seen a football field and ask them if they realize that a plane travels 10 football fields a second, that's when you see their eyes light up. But this isn't the engine we got two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, we got one of these. And stand by just for a second as I roll the Here is a, uh, a footstool, I'll say. And this is like the tire of a, basically your standard Cessna. And stand by just one more second as I get another prop. And this is a Williams VJ400 or a w, uh, WR for, I believe, Williams Research 403 or a WR24. Isn't this cute? The engine behind me is roughly 5 feet in diameter and 18 feet long and puts out 32,000 pounds of thrust and it weighs about 6,000 pounds. This engine is roughly 20 inches long, roughly, oh, I'll say 16 inches in diameter, and puts out about 200 pounds of thrust. Isn't this cute? And the first thing I'm doing is putting it in upside down. So, big engine, little engine. Uh, outer casing for centrifugal flow uh, compressor, combustion chamber, and nozzle for the thrust of the engine. This is where the igniter would go. Up here is where the, uh, the sensor for the RPMs, I believe, would go, the tachometer. Over here we have a fuel pump. Over here we have a, uh, a fuel valve. I'm not sure if that meters it. And on the bottom of the engine, this is the oil tank. And I'm taking this to be the bottom of the engine because this is a sight line, uh, uh, oil sight line. And on the back of the engine, one of the things it feeds right here is the rear turbine bearing. And of course, uh, Agent Jay-Z would have a more technical term for that. But I'm going to take this out in the sunlight and get a bit better view of it. There's the compressor. And here is the exhaust nozzle. I'll be back in just a minute. This engine was developed by a gentleman by the name of Dr. Sam Williams. In the 1950s, he was working for Chrysler. And if you saw the Elvis Presley movie, The, Night, the Lively Set, that was filmed in 1964, Elvis Presley is an aspiring young engineer and he wants to get his turbo car, turbo, turbine powered car to race to Las Vegas. And at any rate, uh, 
Dr. Williams found out that Chrysler didn't quite have the, the hopes that he had. So Dr. Williams went off and found Williams Research, or you find him on the internet as Williams International. He, he formed that company in 1954. This engine, I understand, is from the early 1970s, give or take. So he's come a long way. His engines have now gone from powering drones to powering small uh, Cessna Citations. I understand the Citation CJ1 and the CJ4 are both powered by Williams turbofans now, which are larger brothers of this. This was used for a drone, I think it was a BQM-74, the Chaka. It, again, it's roughly 22 inches long, roughly 12 inches in diameter, weighs approximately 50 pounds, operates at about 52,000 RPM, puts out about 200 pounds of thrust, and it's a cute little engine. So here we have a fuel line. I believe this would come in from the drone. This I'm 90% sure is a fuel pump. Over here to a fuel valve, comes down around, and the fuel line comes in here, and a pneumatic line comes here, and it appears to feed into this strut. I haven't checked yet to see where it goes from this strut. This strut, well, this fuel line, I mean, it stops right behind it. So here we have the, uh, a single hole in the combustion chamber, and this, I'm 99% certain, is for an igniter. And here we have a lubrication line coming from the front of the engine, and it's coming down and going in through one of the struts, one of the three struts that support the turbine bearing. And then, of course, this lubricates and, as we've learned from Agent Jay-Z, cools the bearing. Okay, so this is what I'm pretty sure is a fuel pump. This is a fuel valve, and this wire lead going to the top of the compressor housing, I'm pretty sure is the lead for the tachometer. Here's the engine upside down. One of the things I haven't heard Agent Jay-Z talk about is witness paint. Apparently this is witness paint. If any of these nuts or any of these lines have been broken, that paint will be broken, and that need, means uh, it, it needs to be inspected, apparently, from that point forward. The fuel, with the engine upside down, is coming in from this side. A pneumatic pressure line is coming in from this side, and they meet right here, and it stops, and the only way the line can go is up into this strut and into the engine. This appears to be the oil reservoir. There's a sight glass here with a horizontal line. This is the bottom of the engine, which is currently at the top of the screen. And so you would check and make sure that oil is in here adequately. If not, you would fill it here. There's, here's the oil fill. And I understand there's a check valve there that would uh, keep oil from coming out once you've filled it. Then at the t very top is the oil drain. So that's a bit of background on the Williams International YJ400, also known as the WR247B. Again, my thanks to Agent JZ. That's Agent JZ, no spaces, on YouTube. He's had over 300 videos and, he, and close to 17 million views. He does wonderful work. This is a little bit of thanks to him for all the work he's done and I haven't seen him show an uh, engine like this, so I thought he'd get a chuckle out of it.
Hey Agent Jay-Z, I know you're mostly into gas turbines, but this aircraft has six 28-cylinder radial engines plus four turbojets. If I did the math right, we would require 336 spark plugs plus another eight igniters just to get the engines running. This aircraft has a wingspan of 230 feet, which comes out to about three quarters the length of a football field. If you find yourself in Northern California and you want to drop by, tell them Bruce sent you. We're about eight miles north of Merced, Highway 99, the Castle Air Museum. Thanks for all your wonderful videos. We'll catch you in a bit.